Hello everyone, in today's video, we are going to talk about inference in multiple linear regression. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. So let's start now. What is multiple linear regression? A multiple linear regression refers to a statistical technique that is used to predict the outcome of a variable based on the value of two or more variables sometimes known simply as multiple regression, and it is an extension of a linear regression. The variable that we want to predict is known as the dependent variable, while the variable we use to predict the value of the dependent variable are known as independent or explanatory variables. Now is the purpose of multiple regression. Multiple regression is a statistical technique that can be used to analyze the relationship between a single dependent variable and several independent variables. The objective of multiple regression analysis is to use the independent variables whose values are known to predict the value of single dependent value. Next is graph example. Multiple linear regression model prediction for individual observation. The horizontal line is the actual age and the vertical line is predicted local development age. Next is the multiple linear regression formula. Yi equals to beta 0 plus beta 1 x i1 plus beta 2 x i2 plus beta p x i p plus epsilon, where yi is the dependent or predicted variable, beta 0 is the y-intercept, the value of y when both xi and x2 are 0, beta 1 and beta 2 are regression coefficients representing the change in y relative to a 1 unit change in x1, xi1 and xi2 respectively. And bp is the slope coefficient for each independent variable, and epsilon is the model's random error term. Next is understanding multiple linear regression. Simple linear regression enables statisticians to predict the value of one variable using the available information about another variable. Linear regression attempts to establish the relationship between the two variables along a straight line. Multiple regression is a type of regression where the dependent variable shows a linear relationship with two or more independent variables. It also can be non-linear where the dependent and independent variables do not follow a straight line. Both linear and nonlinear regression track a particular response using two or more variables graphically. However, nonlinear regression is usually difficult to execute since it is created from assumption derived from trial and error. Assumptions of multiple linear regression. Multiple linear regression is based on the following assumptions. 1. A linear relationship between the dependent and independent variables. The first assumption of multiple linear regression is that there is a linear relationship between the dependent variable and each of the independent variables. The best way to check the linear relationship is it to create scatter plots and then visually inspect the scatter plots for linearity. If the relationship displayed in the scatter plot is not linear, linear, then the analyst will need to run a nonlinear regression or transform the data using statistical software such as SPSS. 2. The independent variables are not highly correlated with each other. The data should not show multicollinearity, which occurs when the independent variables are highly correlated. When independent variables show multicollinearity, there will be a problem figuring out the specific variables that contributes to the variance in the dependence variable. The best method to test the assumption is the variance inflation factors method. 3. The variance of the residual is constant. Multiple linear regression assumes that the amount of error in the residuals is similar at each point of the linear model. The scenario is known as homoceticity. When analyzing the data, the analyst should plot the standardized residuals against the predicted values to determine if the points are distributed fairly across 
how the value of an independent Fourier was. To test the assumptions, the data can be plotted on a scatter plot or by using statistical software to produce scatter plot that includes the entire model. 4. Independence of observation. The model assumes that the observation should be independent of one another. Simply put, the model assumes that the value residuals are independent. To test for this assumption, we use the durbin watson statistic. 5. Multifariate normality. Multifariate normality occurs when residuals are normally distributed. To test this assumption, look at how the values of residuals are distributed. It can also be tested by using two main methods. A histogram with a superimposed normal curve or the normal probability plot method. Now is the example of using multiple linear regression in SPSS. Click Analyze and go to Regression and click Linear on the main menu as shown below. Don't worry that you're selecting Analyze Regression Linear on the main menu or that the dialog boxes in the steps that follows have a title Linear Regression. We have not made a mistake, you are in the correct place to carry out the multiple regression procedure. This is just the title that SPSS Statistics gives even when running a multiple regression procedure. Step 2. You will be presented with the linear regression dialog box below. And then step 3. Transfer the dependent variables into the dependent box and the independent variables into the independence box using the next buttons as shown below. All other boxes can be ignored. For a standard multiple regression, you should ignore the previous and next buttons as they are sequential multiple regression. The method option needs to be kept at default value, which is enter. If for whatever reason enter is not selected, you need to change method back to enter. The enter method is the name given by SPSS statistics to standard regression analysis. Moving on to the fourth step, click the statistics button. You will be presented with the linear regression statistics dialog box below. The step 5, in addition to the options that are selected by default, select confidence intervals in the regression coefficients. Area leaving the levels option at 95%, you will end up with the following screen. And finally, the last step. Click the continue button and click OK and it will generate the output. Ok guys, that's it for inference in multiple linear regression. Thank you for watching and have a good day. Thank you.